Chapter 208. I want you guys to teach me how I should do things one. After listening to Lugia's request, Sanchi sees the time to do his own thing. Fifteen minutes later, in the cave abode, he looked at the golden spear in front of him with a serious expression on his young face. Let's start refining, he formed a seal with both hands and golden light flicker. Dharmic powers turned into runes and struck the spear. A buzzing sound appeared. The dragon's scale-like patterns on the latter surface emitted a dazzling light. Its aura was dignifying and domineering, like a true dragon lying dormant. After looking at it carefully for a while, Sanchi became lost in thoughts. The nomological power in his hand began to flow into the array patterns on the spear, dispelling the residual power inside. This power was left behind by Yu Wenjian. Under his transfer of power, this ownerless power was expelled and dissipated unwillingly. However, Spear was still very resistant to him. The so-called spirituality is very mysterious. I haven't even managed to communicate with it up till now. Are you purposely ignoring me? Song Shi muttered. Dharma treasures that had spirits and were called numinous artifacts. Only by communicating with the spirituality of this spear could he control it more easily. He took out an ancient book to search for a guy. This was the secret manual for refining Dharma treasures that he had just exchanged from the scripture depository of the Heavenly Ghost sect. After flipping through it for a moment, he recited a strange incantation that sounded like the low cry of an evil spirit. Then, his mana transformed into a ghost head that opened its mouth and swallowed the golden spear. The buzzing of the spear gradually dissipated. His dharmic powers began to invade the spear's entire body through special methods, forcefully refining it. According to his understanding, the array formation in the numinous artifacts was probably equivalent to a system. The so-called spirituality was probably that the system had a certain level of intelligence. The ghost head he had created now was to use a special method to crack this system and control this intelligent authority. As long as he controlled the authority, this weapon would naturally listen to him and follow his orders. The cultivation civilization of this world is far above the technological civilization. Sanchi was deep in thought. This was the first time he had come into contact with numinous artifacts. This encounter could also be considered as further exposure to the secrets of this world's cultivation civilization. As he began to crack the array formation patterns inside the Dharma treasures, his Dharmic powers quickly controlled a portion of the authority. His original resistance gradually weakened. When his dharmic powers entered the array formation core inside the spear and began to circulate, the spear responded with the fluctuations of the nomological power in its body. A huge devouring power surged over. The golden spear absorbed his dharmic powers as a reserve energy source and the patterns became brighter and brighter. Song Shi revealed a look of delight. This thing had absorbed his dharmic powers, which meant that it had already accepted his control. The process of absorbing nomological power lasted for more than half a day. When the nomological power in his body was completely absorbed, Song Shi had the illusion that this thing seemed to have become a part of his body. With a thought, swoosh, golden light flashed, and the spear flew up and circled around him. After raising his hand, the spear flew to his palm. A powerful illuminant was released, creating a hole in the ground. His dharmic powers were also golden and complemented the spear, making it even brighter. How handsome, Sanchi happily waved it a few times. The flames danced, leaving a few scorching afterimages in the air. The phantom of a dragon head appeared at the tip of the spear. It spewed out golden flames. With the augmentation of dharma treasures, the pure yang fire became even more domineering and scorching. It burned the air until it distorted violently. The power of this power had definitely surpassed the flames condensed from his own nomological power. Combined with the attack of the spear itself, the power of a single spear strike was extremely terrifying. Nice spear. He sized up the spear lovingly. He felt that this spear was simply tailor-made for him. Its nature was especially compatible with his cultivation techniques, and it looked very domineering. Holding this spear, he could not help but feel heroic. With the spear in his hand, he had the aura of holding back 10,000 men. However, it only lasted for a moment. Sanchi's expression changed and his breathing became rapid. A wave of weakness came from his body. All the dharmic powers in his body had been sucked dry by this fellow. Other than his strength, he did not have any dharmic powers at all. The energy consumption is really high. Sanchi came back to his senses and sighed. 
In the end, his cultivation was still in the Golden Core realm. Dharma treasures of that level were usually only usable by nascent souls and martial emperors. Even if his cultivation was deeper than those of the same level, he was still much weaker than a nascent soul cultivator. I have to condense the nine golden cores as soon as possible and increase the total amount of nomological power. Otherwise, I won't be able to withstand the consumption of this thing. Song Shi smiled bitterly. The golden dragon spear was domineering and powerful, but it consumed a lot of nomological power. With his current cultivation, he would not be able to withstand it for long. He flung his spear and the ladder shrunk rapidly. It shot into his danchen and entered his danchen space. In this space, a golden bee was spinning. Due to the law of exhaustion, the light was dimming. He could continue improving this item. If it gave birth to an artifact spirit in the future, it would be comparable to the stronger numinous treasures. Of course, this would take a long time to do so. It might not be as reliable as finding a numinous treasure by itself. After refining the golden dragon spear, Song Shi flipped his hand and took out a black and white energy snake. He had engraved sealing runes on the surface of the black sign, but it was still difficult to hide its mysterious aura. It contained pure energy. This energy came from the essence, chi, and spirit of a golden core cultivator. Although it was not all, it was the purest part. 